Vitao here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today I have part two of a continuing series on some easy blues, blues rock licks, but that have a twist. I'm really excited about this lesson too, because I'm going to emphasize a couple little things that you could do that will really blast your playing to the next level if you're not doing them. If you're more of a guitar player that's basically just using minor pentatonic and blues, and that's great, then one of the biggest things that you could do is add some half steps other than the blue note into your playing. And it's not that hard to do, but it's something that just unlocks so many avenues. Now be sure to watch part one of this lesson. I'll put part one of this lesson in the cards and I'll also put part one down in the description box so you have a good basis to build on. Uh, because in that lesson we were staying more in just this minor pentatonic and blues box area of the neck in the key of E minor, right? And uh, in this lesson, we're going to start moving out. We're going to do a few other scale shapes, and we're going to move out of that position into a few other positions. And then be sure to tune into part three, where we're going to take it even further over the neck. The jam track we're going to be using in this lesson is just a simple 1-4-5 minor key blues, um, a 12 bar pretty much. And basically, we're in the key of E minor, and the chords are just an E minor 9, uh, a minor 9 and B minor 9. And I want to thank Quist. I bought this jam track from Quist. He has some really killer jam tracks. I'll put a link below if you want to check out some of those tracks. And if you've got a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons out. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson, what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like the video, uh, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. I'm going to add the seven note scale so you could use and let's use natural minor or aeolian mode we're in the key of e so e natural minor and let's use the one at the 12th fret root which is moving low e string that scale looks like this you have your root note here here and here now we'll also let's expand because we're going to be moving around and let's also use the E natural minor off the 7th fret root on the A string off that E note. That looks like this. And you have your root notes here and here. Now, these 7 note scales are so awesome, like I was saying before, if you weren't using them, because you have these beautiful half steps that you don't get with your basic box shape or basic minor pentatonic and blues. One of the licks I was doing was this. We're just working from one scale into the next, really easy, but we start with some double stops, so first finger flat, 12th fret, and I kind of rake, rake into that, right? Vibrato, 12th fret, and then 14th fret, and this is on the G and the B string. Ah, but that's the key to that lick, is I go to that F sharp note. So 12, 11 on the G string. And then I slide to give it a little bit different sound. And then I end the lick uh, going from 7 to 9. That's my root note E. Right? But work those notes. See, I'm doing break, double stops, vibrato, half step, slide, vibrato, slides. Right? And now we're starting to move out of this one shape, but we're doing it in a way that's adding interest by adding these half steps. Again, E natural minor. I'm doing a lot of different things in that lick. I'm breaking into that F sharp note again, right? That 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 natural minor we got, and we're really working F sharp and G the half steps, right? B to C, F sharp to G, half step bend. Now this time I'm bending the note up, holding it, hitting it again, and releasing it, or just releasing it. Then I go right down the scale, but when I get to that first finger on the 12th fret, half step bend, and then on the G, descend, half step bend, to our root note, right? We're playing over jam.
Amtrak is just an invaluable tool for the practicing guitarist. And I could really help you with that. Tell you what, click on that link in the YouTube description box. I'll send you my jam track coach, six jam tracks. I'll send you six of them. But not only will I send you the tracks, but I'm also going to send you two ebooks that go along with that. In one ebook, I talk about each progression, each jam, go over the chords, go over scale shapes, what to try, why it works, teaching you what works over what chord wise, you know, how the relationship between chords and scales so important right um so you'll learn all that in the one ebook and i do that for each track and in the second ebook uh is my scale diagram ebook so if you're not familiar with the scales you could just refer right to that ebook it's a killer combination of things jam track ebook scale diagrams i'll send it to you for free you really like it click on that link below so let's move down to this other scale i showed you for this next leg <laughs> I'm in this natural minor using the half steps, but I'm playing the minor triad. This is your minor triad. Here's my E note off of that G string root. So those are all the notes in a minor chord, root, flat, third, and fifth. Um, so what I'm doing there is you can slide into that and then just go right up. Then I go back to the half step. And again, I go back and I'm exploiting this half step between F sharp and G. You can hold that, get some drama, G to F sharp, then bend it. And I'm bending that uh, F sharp up to the G, but I hit the note, bend it, and then let it back down. So I'm getting like three sounds out of it. Over here I went back to my root note but what I did was I played the root note once but then I went to the whole step down and then I slid into it again so instead of just hitting the note twice I get different sounds so I get the sound of that slide anything we can do to add nuance and I want you to add that those slides and bend here's another cool lick that um, that we did starting in uh, the a string root natural minor, but then I'm going to move it into natural minor over here. Uh, that lick sounds like this. Let's just take that much first. With this lick, we're incorporating some string skipping. So I play it like this. Uh, start on that A string at the 7th fret, skip over the D, and get the octave 9th fret on the G string. And then skip over the B 7th fret on the high E string to get that B note. Skip over that B string. So you get this slow. Right? And that might take a little practice to cleanly skip over those strings. Now when you get up on that high E, then you're going to go to the B string. And I like to bar it with one finger because it makes those two notes quick. High E, B, 7th fret. So far you have this. And then when you get to that B string, you slide all the way up to that 12th fret on the B string. And then 1st fret bar again because you're going to get that 12th fret B, 12 E, high E, 12 B. And then I'm going to do a whole step bend. I'm bending to the root note, bending to my E note, but I'm bending that 15th fret on the B string. Whole step with vibrato. If you want to finish that off, let's do like some legato. So basically, three note per string legato is awesome. Let's just use this pattern. All right, so notice that's one pick. See if you can get that. 12th fret, hammer 13, hammer 15, pull 13, pull 12, hammer 13. And then pull the 12 again. Okay, now, if you can get that, when you get back to that 12th fret, do a bend. Right? I'll see if I can do it slow without losing the sustain of all the notes. Okay, that's all one pick. Right? So you want to get that slow and build up the speed over time, get it clean. Alright, we're bending again. We're bending that B up to the C. Half step. Then you can just descend down the scale, go to the G string. 14, 13, 12. Do the same pattern on the G string, but this time you'd be using 11th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret. And you're bending that half step, that F sharp to the G, 11 to 12 on the G string. And you can 
go 12, slide to 14, that's our root note E on the D string. So if you put all those together slow, you might have a run like this. gear for this lesson I'm using this 1996 Gibson Les Paul standard this is the limited edition model uh, what makes it the limited edition is it has some different things that Gibson usually doesn't put on this standard model like the crown inlays you don't see those very often on Les Paul standards also the, the finish is in this triburst which is kind of unique uh, so limited edition model and I'm just plugged straight into an interface Steinberg UR22 and it's going right into the iMac behind me um, and I run uh, Logic as the record, Logic X as the recording software. And the plugin I'm using for the guitar is really cool. Uh, Neural DSP makes it. It's Archetype Pliny. Get some killer sounds. That's it. It's pretty simple. So why don't you let that marinate for a while and really work on those licks and, you know, take them and, like I was doing, add the nuance, right? Take those notes and do musically interesting things with them. That's what it's all about. Really adding your own touches, your vibrato, string bending, the way you rake or how hard you're hitting the strings, right? But you're adding that nuance and that feel. Stay tuned. I got tons more stuff coming. I'm really stoked. Make sure you tune in for part three of this lesson. And also don't forget to subscribe because not only uh, will you help us keep bringing the content, but then you'll be notified when I have new lessons up. So subscribe to that channel and get my jam track coach by clicking on that link in the YouTube description box below. Six killer jam tracks and two ebooks. It'll really help you along your um, guitar, lead guitar and improvisation journey. I'll send it to you for free. And if you have a second, I just dropped a new record with my original band Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego. I think it's a slamming record. I'd love for you to hear it. It's streaming on all the platforms. Plus, you can get the digital version. You can get, you can get it on CD. I'll put links to all of that in the YouTube description box below. Be sure and check that out. And if you have any questions, just let me know. You know, maybe you have questions on the song or the gear I use, the studio recording or the studio uh, uh, techniques that we use. Um, just drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for your support over the years and years and years. So appreciated. It means the world to me. Stay positive and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. I will see you in the next lesson.